Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the NIFT Marathon by Creative Edge. So in turn, from Top Frankers. Friends, I'm Rajendra Bhatia, and I'm into my second session of this series of marathon run on NIFT possible questions and how to attend. continue from what I left you in the last one. Last one we did um, how to have transformation coloration and we uh, we did a program or um, our sketching with transformation from dawn to dusk. Now friends, today my idea is to get on with how to attempt a question like if you are given a two dimension direct question or how to attempt a question where a two dimension design is to be done. I have kept something ready here like a sketch so that I could give you the coloring. But at the same time, I would like you to understand what I have done here. Now these questions may not come as a direct question. Incidentally, the question could be use geometrical shapes and um, a motif to design a, a tablecloth a scarf, a, um, a bed sheet, or maybe a lady's purse. So I have used two of the three basic shapes. Circle, three circles, two square. These are the two basic shapes. And I have used two motifs, that means one variety, two sizes. Similarly, the square is also one of the shape at, of different sizes, three circle of different sizes. What I have actually taken care of is to sketch it in a way, sketch it with Balancing, balance the, the given space. With balance, I mean to say a visual balance. So how you get started is sketching out this, or let us say any design for that matter. We'll just look into a rough sketch and then when we get started on to the suppose the tasks that we have chosen are three circle two square two motives I have taken leaves And you might have noticed in this, I have also taken rhythmic lines. In place of rhythmic line, you could also select tiles.
my target of having a two dimension design is space division second target is visual weight balance third and very important is to have connectivity connectivity not only in sketching in coloring also this i will explain you separately now this is an uncommon thing i am telling you very few student know about how to bring about color connectivity with that of course in the connectivity only uh, we should be talking about overlapping now for space division as i have started already with rhythmic line you could have either rhythmic lines or you could have something like tiles or you could have even just a straight line i'm doing it here for you there's also could be a space division another space division that i am showing you you could have tiles of tiles of law of third law of third is dividing the horizontal space and vertical space into three this you might have noticed even in your uh, mobile camera some of the brands do give these lines visible they want to suggest you that you try to focus the things a little eccentrically onto the golden focal points wherever the vertical and horizontal line of law of third divide Uh, or rather meet each other those are the point which are golden focal point friends you may be surprised particularly the students who are attending this lecture for first time that these many things are expected in a two dimension design it is it may sound very simple and the, the the design is applicable in all those areas like i told you table cloth bed sheet ladies purse shopping bag i am giving you an example with geometrical shapes actually it's a mixture of geometrical shapes plus biological shape 
Now biological shape is this. So friends, now you are known to what all to be taken care in a two-dimension design. Now here, again, I will say you divide virtually the space into two and then arrange, let's say, get started with circle. So you have the circle, big one here, smaller here, so that then you calculate in each section that you have given and overlapping, as I told you, is important for connectivity. It should look like um, a composition, a true composition. Then these straighter uh, objects, like with the straighter line, should not be parallel to the border. That is another point to be remembered. So this is what I designed here and has kept ready for you. I am jumping over to the finished one. Yes, I have outlined it with black ink pen. Okay. For students, Pencil colors will be good, but how to choose the color? Coming back to the point, coloring connectivity or connectivity in color. You see, our vision is very typical. What all can give you connectivity of color? First choice could be analogous color. Now, the examiner is not giving you anything mentioned, like you should color it in uh, analogous color or you should color it monochrome. Or you should color it only in hot colors or you should color it in cool colors. Now these are the four types of color scheme <coughs> that you could use for connecting, connecting the objects with colors. Other are segregating the object with colors. Segregation or separation can color come with color scheme or like split complementary. It can also come with primary colors. Partial connectivity can be seen with secondary colors. Secondary color scheme. 
but mostly asked are either split complementary or contrasting color or primary color these are also at time given as a task okay so what are analogous colors if you remember i did give you a definition in the last of my uh, class on the nft marathon it's an arrangement of two secondary and one primary color and its tints shades and tones the colors are such selected that the primary color is common in all of them or is present in all of them i'll show you here on my rough sheet as to how to find out that analogous color scheme from your secondary color wheel violet blue green yellow orange red indigo is missing then violet blue and green primary color are blue yellow and red okay if i say two secondary color and one primary so you can pick up violet and green which also contains blue so combination of violet blue and green or it could be green yellow orange or it could be orange red and violet so these are the analogous color scheme and their tints tones and shades what are tints you mix white to any color that will be tint of that color you mix gray to any color that will be the tone of that color and you mix black that will be shade of that color so if you are choosing tones then you should be mixing gray with it now how is it possible with pencil color i don't think that you could do that but yes what you can do is take out all the shades of let us say if we are selecting this combination so we can have lavender we can have violet blue you can have three shades and green also you can have three shades all these will be only three color at times nift do mention that you can use to a maximum of three colors that's the time you can choose analogous colors even if they say you can use four colors what do you do you take a connected color for example 
violet, blue, green, then you can take yellow as well. Only the connected color, only the color in harmony. Okay? Do not go for too many fancy color. Don't go for red with blue. Although it is connected with violet. But it's quite contrary to it. Yes, particularly with violet, blue and green, don't take orange. However, if they want the design or if you want the design to come up, say for example this, and instead of rhythmic line, you have selected tiles, taking that law of third, that division, and you run it throughout your design, okay? That division you can run throughout your design. So what you can do is, is bring about this kind of a color scheme. What we have done here, we have used shades of green, shades of blue and shades of violet. But the fourth color is quite a contrast one. So the design lifts out. The background is subsided. But the rhythmic line are still connecting them. Again in this kind of a design also which could be design of a lady's purse you could uh, use it connected. In such type of design, again it is a contrast, but here the candidate has preferred taking a look of the leather with brown shades. And these are not analogous selection, but a color in harmony. So color in harmony is also the way you could basically either side color of a given color on a color wheel or color in harmony. For example, orange and violet are harmonious to red and red and yellow are also are harmonious to the orange. So, so far we have taken only the selection of color. Now let us see how to work out the Coloring. Start with a very light color and start with the primary color. Primary that we have chosen here is blue. Along with that violet and along with that green. All the shades. Now if you talk me only the object and the background has Separated one, where you want to lift out only the design, mark out the design, or you want to have the total thing as a whole. If it is total thing as a whole, you should start from the larger area in the background. And I'll give you a typical interesting method how to match the color or how to fill the color. Okay? Only to, only to keep a an interest here, I am taking the object first. 
these are the objects okay so you can fill up this as blue then diagonally opposite this as blue this light blue diagonally opposite this as blue so this whole section i'll do one for your I am using two strokes. One is hatching. Hatching is this kind of a stroke. Another is scribbling on top of it. So the white lines are gone. Having done this, choose the lighter purple, either of the two secondary color. student who run into a little difficulty in uh, timing can do what firstly just do the hatching firstly just do the hatching and then if you are still left out with some time then you go for scribbling although completing it with hatching and scribbling will definitely give better result once you have done all the light three colors i mean to say the lighter shade i must also inform you friends that i am using cartridge sheet for the sketching which is quite 
friendly thing but some of you may go for selecting super white sheets super white sheet is available in Mohit Kumar asking what kind of a question come into it. Did I tell you? I think I told you right in the beginning. I'll repeat what I told you. Design a tablecloth with primary shapes or a mix of primary shape and biological shapes or bed sheet or ladies purse or shopping bag or table lamp sheet Mohit Kumar, you got your answer here. The question can more like use only the primary shapes, use only different shapes and design either of this. Color it with color of your choice etc etc let me just slightly complete this and then we talk about the questions thereafter i will also give you some tip on, on how to sketch uh, maybe go for a um, memory drawing now I, I have used a different shade of purple Friends, this is what you can see as a sample of super white sheet, but then right now what I'm showing you is a ivory sheet, 300 GSM. Shemika. Samant asking, uh, what do I mean by biological shape? Now, biology are botany and zoology. Mostly the biological shapes are leaves, flowers, or motives of fish, birds, butterfly, Now these should be motifs and not natural color, natural shape. So Shivam Singh, when you are asking about or confessing that you were not good with colors just do one practice two practice before your exam and i'm sure you will be through with colors 
I just gave you a couple of examples as to how they will look like. Now the last point in this, after having taken so many of shade and variation and avoiding the background right now, because I want the, the design to lift out, as I showed you with the with earlier design. Now these are two samples of the uh, design. I'll also show you something in the um, tiles background. So these are hot colors taken up for the design and the background is tiles. So I have taken a contrast of it. Similarly here, I am taking a contrast to the design with help of yellow color. Analogous color that I have used are blue, purple and green. And I explained you uh, the meaning of it. Raghav Agrawal asking and what all would be included in primary shapes. Primary shapes, I believe everybody must be knowing there are only three primary shapes. Square, circle and triangle. I have used two of them because I, I um, worked out a design with two primary shape and one motif. Natural Motive. So I have used motive of leaf here. Okay. So here there could be a choice from the uh, two color, either the orange or it could be yellow. Because that will be contrast to the my analogous color scheme. In the other one that I showed you just now, the color scheme was hot color scheme. The hot color scheme that was used was purple, red, it is also analogous, hot color, analogous colors. Those are red, the shades of red, shades of orange, and the shades of violet. So to that, the contrast would be blue. To this, the contrast would be blue. Friends, there is a